Hollywood, Florida is one of a very famous city for relocation and among snowbirds. We are going to talk why people love Hollywood, Florida. Let's talk right now. Number one fact, if you are looking for a beach lifestyle, if you are looking for something which to experience an actual South Florida lifestyle, Hollywood Florida has a lot of choices for you. Like if you are looking to live in a condo, there's so many inventory you will find, so many kinds of properties you will find and all varieties where you have a view. If you don't look looking for a view but looking for a better pricing, you can get that. Also if you are looking for more intercostal and quiet kinds of feeling also so you will get it and if you're not looking to live in high rise and you want to live a little bit on low rise like three four story building that's also possible to find in Hollywood across the street of the Ocean Drive which is just in a walking distance of beach so you do have a better prices maybe view is different but more quieter feel also you may get so my point is there are so many choices of condos you may get in Hollywood, Florida, compared to other cities like Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach, Delray, Deerfield Beach. There's so many other beach cities also we have, but Hollywood, Florida is actually made for a beach lifestyle, I feel. The second point is there are so much things to do here, and most of the things are in walking distance. For example, the famous, famous is a Hollywood Broadwalk. If you check out in a map, it's so beautiful. It's almost 2.5 mile Broadwalk, and it's pretty much in a walking distance. If I wonder you live in the North Hollywood or uh, south side of the Hollywood, especially east side I'm talking about, okay, not a west side. So that's like most, I mean, I would say you will explore much better other than anything else in Hollywood. And it has restaurants, it has, of course, the beach, it has a lot of events, it happens every week. Every Sunday they have, a, you know, the live band and a lot of people you will see the, doing the biking. Okay, skating is not allowed there, I wish there, there was, like a little small area, I wish, you know, just like California, they should make it but it's not there uh, there's a, like a small one spot there there's a surfing you can do that's pretty fun for kids and the best part there I like is you know they do have like a small resort style feel you f you find a lot of people even do staycation in that area you know and it's pretty much amazing looking especially photogenic in evenings time they do don't have a shade a lot of like you know they it's more like very open but still it's pretty good it's pretty good especially in the evening and if you're looking just to walk around you know you don't like to walk on a the sand then also you can do in this broadwalk so because of this also the snowbirds love it you know a lot of people don't even keep car and walkability or it's on a bikeability <laughs> I would say I don't know if it's the correct word but basically you could do uh, you could explore without even having a car well, that's what people love to live as a you know snowbird when you're snowbird technically is like you know you are living a little bit of retirement uh, semi-retirement life right so that way it's more flexibility you need to have to experience this beach lifestyle another best thing about Hollywood Florida is affordability of condos I'm talking about the condos not a single family houses so condo prices are very much affordable in Hollywood because there's so much inventory you will find at a time there's so many buildings in ocean drive if you check out and all almost every uh, high rise is 12 story to 16 stories very very rare they have a little bit lower stories so uh, it's it's pretty uh, I mean all this there is a full of inventory and that's why you will see so many properties even stays in a market for longer so I have I get a lot of questions about from my clients like okay why condos are staying too long in the property even I mean on a market is their market is slowing in a condo what exactly is happening see let me tell you this condos are always have a more better negotiation range in 
any market any market i don't see it's dropping the prices but definitely it's always there's a room of negotiation and understand this the condo market is more investor market or it's more like a vacation field there are a lot of buildings they don't allow any more rentals because they don't want to make like you know it's more for the investor investor so we see more of the snowbirds now and a lot of snowbirds you know let's say they decide to buy but it eventually didn't work out for them for some reason because it's not their primary home so you will see a lot of people put back in a market and they're not in urgency also because they're still using it you know either they are renting or maybe they are coming to the property so they are not like in urgent urgent however they do want to sell a property so basically you know you will see days in a market longer but the price reductions are happening uh, like more slower than single family houses like if you uh, if you compare the condo market especially in hollywood another piece is the number of inventory because there's so many buildings and the inventory always stays up i hardly see less competition there so since inventory is higher you have a better you know negotiation power as a buyer and and uh, you know that's where you i said the affordability you will have so if something you want to buy let's say for yourself where you don't want to rent okay because that's uh, the disclaimer i need to add the numbers changes when there is uh, things like you know rentals allowed in xyz a building so if it is let's consider is a normal where you're buying for yourself you can definitely get something between 400,000 to 500 550,000 which has a semi view or even a direct ocean view or intercoastal view so it is possible to buy that kind of property there and lowest if you go even in 350,000 also but again those properties may be in an older building okay if you have more lower numbers you go uh, if you are going for for like something which is remodeled and something looking nice and a good building and all those so average you need to consider at, at least half a million and this is i'm talking about the pretty good properties you know like look at this pictures this looks so awesome to have a beautiful view and ocean and all like you know all great feel another point i want to talk about the lot of people move in hollywood because of their job you know like let's say you have a work a job in miami miami is crazy uh, trust me the traffic wise the feel wise the crime rates it's kind of going all in a different direction right now so people are not preferring to live in miami and plus the economy i mean their cost of living is so much higher in miami so they prefer to live in a uh, lot of people live in hollywood or pembroke pines there's another city you know close to this area so uh, they try to live there and they travel to Miami. That's also one of the reason you will see a lot of people move to and decide to live in Hollywood. My another main point especially focusing on a single family neighborhoods, if you're looking to buy something in a no HOA communities, either you want to do Airbnb or you want to save your cost like holding cost or you want to have the bigger lots, then Hollywood is better choice. So neighborhoods in Hollywood are very well developed there are over mature communities which are developed long time back like 1960s to 1980s majority don't have a hoa majority of them there are some which has either low hoa also but those are not too many so basically you have a lot of choices to buy something in a no hoa community and if you're looking to do airbnb then that kind of property you need to buy where you can do daily rentals no restrictions allowed if you even love gardening then also that kind of neighborhoods are great i live in no hoa communities my plan for my primary home is eventually we we will be doing airbnb because that's what the best advantage of having somewhere where there is no hoa and we have like so many trees and there is no restriction from anybody like you know because the south river weather is so amazing you could put uh, mango trees and custard apple and orange and you name it everything you could do gardening in south florida so a lot of times in the hoa communities those things you cannot do and if you do not want to live in that kind of restrictive neighborhoods then hollywood is a great 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 choice comment me below if you're living in hollywood and you're look if watching this video tell me what you actually like and if you are moving to hollywood and tell me like uh, what's your research about hollywood do you see the hollywood is worth living or not talk to you in my next video